Hey everyone, it's CyberTutor. In this video, we'll be breaking down the OSI model. That's the Open Systems Interconnection model. This model helps us understand how different parts of a network interact with each other, which is essential for cybersecurity because each layer has its own potential vulnerabilities. But don't worry, we'll keep it simple and easy to follow. The OSI model is like a map of how data travels across a network. It breaks down the process into seven layers, each responsible for a different function. These layers start from the physical hardware and go all the way up to the applications you use every day, like email or web browsing. The OSI model makes it easier for network engineers and cybersecurity professionals to pinpoint where issues are happening and where security weaknesses might exist. So let's take a closer look at each layer, starting from the bottom and working our way up. Layer one is the physical layer. It's all about the hardware, cables, switches, routers, and how data is physically transmitted, like electrical signals or light pulses. If there's an issue at this layer, your network connection could fail completely. In cybersecurity, securing physical access to your hardware is crucial because if someone can physically access your network devices, they can easily cause damage or steal data. Moving up to layer two, we have the data link layer. This layer is responsible for direct communication between devices on the same network using MAC addresses to identify devices. It ensures that data is error-free as it moves from one device to another. Cybersecurity risks at this layer include MAC spoofing, where an attacker pretends to be a trusted device to gain unauthorized access. Layer three is the network layer, where IP addresses come into play. This layer is responsible for determining the best path for data to travel between different networks using routers. Think of this layer as the post office figuring out how to deliver data packets to their correct destination. IP spoofing and DDoS attacks are common threats at this layer, so securing routing protocols is critical. On to layer four, the transport layer. This layer ensures that data is delivered reliably or quickly, depending on whether it uses TCP, Transmission Control Protocol, or UDP, User Datagram Protocol. Think of it as packaging and ensuring the right amount of data is sent at the right time. In cybersecurity, this layer is vulnerable to attacks like port scanning or man-in-the-middle attacks, which can intercept or manipulate data packets in transit. Now we have layer five, the session layer. This layer manages and controls the connections between devices, basically starting, maintaining, and closing communication sessions. It's like the meeting organizer, keeping track of who's talking to whom. In cybersecurity, session hijacking can be a risk at this layer where attackers take control of a valid session between devices. Layer six is the presentation layer, which is all about formatting the data so it's understandable by both the sender and the receiver. This includes tasks like encryption and compression. Think of it as a translator that ensures both devices can understand the data being sent. From a security perspective, this is where encryption plays a huge role in protecting sensitive information from being intercepted or altered. Finally, we reach layer seven, the application layer. This is the layer closest to the user, where applications like web browsers, email clients, or file transfers interact with the network. Any vulnerabilities in the software you use, like outdated browsers or insecure apps, can create entry points for attackers. That's why ensuring your applications are secure is one of the most important steps in defending against cyber threats. So let's quickly recap the OSI model. The physical layer is all about the hardware. The data link layer manages device to device communication. The network layer routes data between networks. The transport layer ensures reliable data delivery. The session layer keeps connections stable. The presentation layer handles data encryption and formatting. And the application layer deals with the software we use daily. Each layer has its own potential vulnerabilities. And as cybersecurity students, understanding where attacks can happen is essential to preventing them. Thanks for tuning in today. If you're finding our Network Fundamentals series helpful, be sure to watch our previous videos and stay tuned for the next episode. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with all our cybersecurity content. Stay informed, stay vigilant, and stay secure.